Hello, good afternoon. I'm Lawrence from AOTO. AOTO is the company that provides the LED screen. So at the back, here is the LED provided by our company. So today, the first part, first of all, I will introduce the what kind of the application for the LED screen for the virtual production. We will see some example and case from the first part. The second part, I will introduce the, the technique. Ah, what's the powerful LED screen technically to demonstrate the VP? So please take a look for the first video. So the LED wall, ceiling, and floor combined become a complete virtual production. So the backdrop is the LED screen, our RM series. So the RM series is easier for the installation. You can see the modular design, you can adjust the angle. While the screen here is the curve, concave and convex, you can control by the side lock. And also with a floor screen, but today we don't have the floor screen here. And this is ceiling screen. The ceiling screen is very important for the virtual production, for the car reflection and the reflection on the surface. Okay. And then uh, for the virtual production at the screen, we have to fix some of the problem. For example, is there real-time tracking? Morley reduction. And uh, HDR. So the LED design must be fairly advanced. Use the most advanced technology and driving IC. 24 bit and very fast frame rate. One second we have a 24, uh, 240 uh, hertz. And this is some example. Yeah. Okay, so for the film making, broadcasting, live gaming, so the virtual production have uh, many kind of uh, application. So you can see the screen here, uh, the right hand side is a project one. You can decide the other screen with this kind of the application with the ceiling cover and you have the uh, external lighting. The middle one is that you can extend the wall to the left-hand side and right-hand side. Why we do this? Because the side wall can have a more reflection and the video camera is easier to control. The last one is the best one. You can see the last one is the completely cover the screen and also surrounding is nearly a circle. So the editor and everything is easier to be controlled under this environment. So the editor have a immersive feeling. And this is uh, the XRO. XRO is a little bit different from the virtual production. XRO it has the floor screen. For the virtual production, it's the fairly high resolution. You have to do the pixel by pixel of the backdrop. But XRO you can extend by the digital. So you can have a floor screen and the backdrop becomes smaller. It's a free kind of uh, application. But for this one, you can have a advantage to investment is lower and also the cost is lower but you can get the extension like the VP but of course it's not so professional dot by dot application okay and then you can see the right hand side is the traditional uh, green screen and blue screen 
since the but why and right now you use the LED screen to replace this the green screen. So this the system setup. So the advantage of the LED screen is that the first is the saving the filming cost because the investment is the fairly low for the LED screen. It's lowly to send the whole team to the site everywhere. The second is that you can shorten the film production cycle. You just make a very short post production within three months, let's say. But for the old day green screen, you have to use the maybe one year, two year, or even three year to make the post production. The last one is that the quality of the filming is very good because the actors have a more accurate eye focus and interactive. What you see, what you get. So the actor can perform the performance much better than the green screen. These are some of the our uh, client. Uh, beside the motion, we have another client. This is the uh, okay. Affinity is the uh, next generation. So. For the VP, you can go into the next generation is that the cinema will replace the projection by LED screen. So in the future, you will use the LED screen to make a virtual projection and then migrate to the cinema screen by LED screen. We already installed some LED screen in the cinema in USA, India, and China. This is a demonstration of the production. How to install the screen is very easy. You can see the ceiling screen and also the floor screen, the backdrop. So you just use a half day to finish everything. And then you can change the, the backdrop the scenes within one second. Okay, this is some case of the LED screen. For the Batman, you see. Okay. This is the ins installation in UK, in London. For the Batman, they used the exactly the same of a 1.5 millimeter screen like this one. Why we need the 1.5 millimeter? Because the fire pitch, you can get a bit, uh, more close shot to the screen easily. For example, the sunset. The actor walk close to the screen, but the camera can zoom very close to the screen without any problem, without the Mori effect. We can see this the 1.5 meter, a millimeter quarter, and this screen is the 600 square meter with 4K. Uh, this one is that uh, uh, the actor expressed uh, the light the LED screen instead of green screen because the uh, the skin without the uh, without the green color reflection, and also for the filming of this, the shooting in the winter. If the actor do the filming shooting at the outdoor, it will become very cold. So that's why the environment will well controlled uh, by the screen. So this one is the two point three because the. Uh, of course, 1.5 mm is the best, but 2.3 is more cost-effective. For some case, if you take a film for a very big area, you choose a 2.3 is the more suitable instead of 1.5. If the area of the screen like this one is uh, smaller, you can choose a 1.5. And this one is the, the ceiling screen also used the same one of the backdrop. Because the application is that the ceiling is a completely cover the screen, so they use the same RM 2.3 as the backdrop, same series, so that all the system is easier to be controlled by one single system. And this one is that uh, we have a ceiling screen, the application is that with a side screen. The side screen is movable, so you can add more reflection to the skin and the stuff. It's amazing.
So it looks like a fairly big. Uh, but actually, it's the, the screen is like this size. Uh, okay. The next one, you can see. This application is like the motorbike very fast speed. But actually, the motorbike is stable. The bed job is most very fast. So the ATA will have a very safe environment to perform the film. And easy control, the low weather are fed. And this one, you can see the reproduction of the color is very high tech. You can see all the color we reproduce by the other screen, more accurate. And this one is the another model is the tailor made for the customer. It's the RM 1.5, 1.5 millimeter to match the 2.3 millimeter floor. The application here is a very special because the this company they need a very fast speed application for the CPU. We use our screen with special design for the driver IC to perform the gaming with a very high speed demonstration in the site. Another application is that uh, this one you combine it with a digital human for the screen. You combine the real thing and the digital and the LED screen together. So this the listed come uh, this the problem is that for the LED screen become a virtual production, you may face a lot of problem like the more effect, dark area, low grain level. We have to fix all the problem if you want to use the added screen for the virtual production. Okay. This one is the sum of the uh, summarized. The first thing is that the XDR and uh, mini LED is our key product and key components because the mini LED is, has the fairly advantage, like the fairly low refraction for the screen and combine the four pixels into one. So it's more robust. During the installation, so you can get the very high contrast. So you can see this the mini LED. So dark light between the LED is very small, but with traditional SMD LED, you can see the dark light between the LED is a big version, a big portion. So the ratio of the dark light will cause the effect of the LED screen. A lot. So use the mini LED, you can suppress the moray effect a lot. You can see traditional SMD for the same picture, same focus, you can see a lot of the nigh moray effect. But for the mini LED, you can see it completely clear. So why we can make this one? Because the Mini LED, the aperture ratio is there more than 80, but for the traditional SMD, use the same pitch 1.5 or 2.3, you can get the aperture ratio is only 41 and 28. It means Mini LED can have a light surface effect instead of a pixel feeling. You can see the difference. So we have uh, many other products, but the important is that uh, Nowadays, we have uh, many new technology for the screen, the COB, COB, but this for the human eyes, the LED is fine, but for the virtual production, COB, COB, lock suitable for the filming because the uh, the refraction of the lighting for spotlight is not good. We have to use the very low refraction surface like the mini LED. And uh, during the installation, you always face the problem is that uh, the LED will peel off or suddenly uh, by, by accident damage. But mini LED is a bigger size. You can repair at the size and also it's uh, four times robust than the traditional single asset SMD LED. And this one is the wide wheeling angle. And this one is that uh, fairly low refraction. You can see these pictures. Uh, we do the measurement. If the single SMD LED, you can see the refraction for the spotlight is very high. 
But the mini LED, the refraction is very, very low, even though uh, less than 5%. And uh, we can have the special design in our circuitry, so we can use the uh, Brampton system to boost up for the dynamic. So our setting is uh, 1,500 leads, but use the system, we can do the HDR tempest to push to 2,000 leads under the very fast motion. And the CRI, the color rendering index, is the, another key factor for the virtual production. So you can see for the traditional uh, LED, you can see very low CRI, it's less than 50. But we use the special wavelength and also Taylor Mix LED, we can achieve the CRI, CRI color rendering index, the ROE, higher than lighting. So you can see the difference between the picture. You can have a more blue color and red color. The RO8, the RO9 for the lighting is very difficult to fulfill for the LED, but our screen can fulfill the RO9. But the RO9 spectrum is the very critical. And you can see we can achieve the BT 2020 for the XT or Active 4. But for the new technology, I will introduce the later. Uh, we can achieve uh, 94. So for the NTSC, we can achieve uh, more than 110. So the gamut of the screen is uh, fairly high. The bigger gamut, you can reproduce the color more better. And uh, also here is, uh, is that we use the 24-bit technique uh, combined with a uh, very good Brunton system. We can achieve uh, more depth of the color and more smooth. You can change change the to a very smooth color change of the gray, gray step. And the high refresh rate is necessary. So we achieve uh, 7,680 hertz for the screen. So you adapt for the fa fast motion without any uh, color loss. And this one is that if the scan line is like this, uh, the lower scan line is better. Or even we can do the frame change rather than scan line. So for the uh, swimming or the shooting, you cannot see any line on the screen. It's a one of us says, uh, uh, take a look on our product. Yeah. We use the RM series. This is our LED module, uh, the cabinet, sign off a very nice ways, and the top have a, you can see the sign off, you can control the angle, and you can assess the screen from the front side or rear side easily. So for example, if it's a damage on the screen, you can repair on the size. So the higher resolution and 24 bit SDR becomes the XDR. 10. Last wearing angle. Mini LED. Ah. And you can adjust the screen concave and converse by the side lock. Adjust the angle. Easy. On the top, this is the edge protection. During installation, uh, the operator can install the screen easier without damage. In case there's some problem for the power supply, you can take out the module, uh, power box out. And the module is the randomly replacement. I slowly need to fix the location. This is stacking, installation, and wrecking. It's a wrecking. Okay. And this model, we got the desired what? Ah. And this one talking about the LED difference. So mini LED, you can see the surface, uh, surface. and uh, also one second, you can get a 251 hertz. This is a ceiling screen. Ceiling screen can achieve the very high brightness, even though 6,000 lit. Why we need the ceiling screen with a very high brightness? Because sometimes you can simulate the sunlight, the day nights, and you can simulate the refraction of the car Refreshing of the skin. Okay, this the you can see our full angle. You can see the red color 
for the ceiling screen or some front screen. In different viewing angle, you can see from red color change to green and blue. This is old technology. But the white color, this one is the new technology. How can we achieve this the performance so the camera can move around the screen for the ceiling or floor screen without any color deviation? Because we adjust the new technology is the light from the normalization. So they compensate all the viewing angle distortion. So the LED turn 90 degree for heavy one. This is a traditional old one. So you can see the color shift. Enough. And this one is the RGB white. What means by RGB white? We add a white color LED. You can see this the RGB. The CRI is very low. The skin tone looks red. But once you get add one more LED, it's the white color in the LED. You can see the RGB white. So the CRI become higher. TLCI become higher for the camera. This is more suitable for the shooting. You can see the different the skin tone reproduction is uh, very critical for the filming. And you can also add the side screen. Okay. Oh, CLI, I think uh, color rendering index for the eye. Uh, and then you can see the many the supermarket, jewelry shop, they can use the RGB wise application to get the product more attractive. But for the camera, it's a critical for reproduce the true color of the objects or the pops. And also we have a floor screen. The floor screen, you, you can put the car on top without any problem. It's a waterproof. So this summarizes the auto requirement for the virtual production of the added screen. So uh, one of the questions is that why we need a very high refresh rate. This picture explained uh, if the refresh rate of the screen is not so high, you can get a fairly mesh picture, but you you can get a 2,400 bar uh, screen is the 2,051 uh, hertz per second. You can get a very much sharp image. And this one is another technique is the combined with the system. You can see we have a 251 hertz. We can insert a green and blue frame on the screen. So you can get a different camera, the main camera, side camera. You can get all the data in the same video storage. So for the director, uh, they can choose which angle they like. In case they think, oh, sorry. This suit is not good enough. They can use the green screen and blue screen to do the post production to adjust. So there's no, no need to ask the actor come back to which we do the reshooting again. So the, the last page is the uh, main screen, ceiling screen, floor screen can compile for the virtual production and XR. Okay, that's the end of the, our presentation. Thank you.